Miami Heat Nation. Hello guys, my name is Trent and over here we are going to be covering the Miami Heat offseason and heading into next year. So guys, if you support the Miami Heat or your favorite team is the Miami Heat, make sure you drop that sub and turn on post notifications. Now in today's video, we do have a few topics that we are going to be talking about. The first topic is that NBA scouts see Larry Markkinen as a perfect fit to join the Miami Heat in a potential trade. And the next topic that we're going to talk about is key dates for the Miami Heat, including training camp preseason and when the season starts. So to start it off with Larry Marketing, last year played for the Cleveland Cavaliers, averaged about 15 points a game, 44.5% for the field, about 5.7 rebounds, 1.3 assists while shooting 36% from the three-point line. Now, Larry Marketing is 6'11". You know, he's on contract to 2025, and his salaries are 16 mil this upcoming season, 17 mil and 18 mil next year. Now, currently, he did get traded to the Utah Jazz. And at this point, it looks like the Utah Jazz are in trade mode. Now, it's going to be interesting to see because I don't, I'm not sure what's the exact date they can trade him because he was recently just traded. But if the Miami Heat can potentially trade for him if they do want him or if they are interested in him before their trade deadline, honestly, it wouldn't be a bad move. I feel like you do need a stretch four, stretch five around Bam. Because Bam isn't the greatest shooter, doesn't really have that in his game yet. And Larry Markin is still young. You know, I've been seeing him ball overseas. He has been doing his thing. And I feel like, you know, Larry Markin can be that player, that four that can be in the starting lineup with Bam at the five, you know, Kyle Larry at the one, and you have Tyler Harrow and Jimmy Bullard. Now, your offense automatically looks better. And your bench is still solid with Gabe Vincent, Victor Oladipo. You know, the list continues to go on and on with Kayla Martin, Dwayne Dedman, Nikola Jovic. So honestly, it'll be interesting to see, like, which is trade value. I know right now the Utah Jazz are looking for, like, draft capital. Would you give up a first-round pick for Larry Marketing? Or are you just going to be straight and move on for another player that you want or trust better? Let me know. I just figure to discuss that with y'all. And the next topic is... It's crazy that the season is pretty much around the corner. Training camp opens up September 27th. That's pretty much like two weeks away, I believe, if my math is correct. And it's going to be interesting to see who is going to become the starter. Is it going to be Tyler Harrow? Is it going to be Max Struess? Who's going to be our starting power four? So there's going to be a lot of questions, a lot of stuff that we're going to be exerting. And who might not crack the rotation? So let me know in the comment sections what stuff are you looking for in training camp. And then October 14th, that's when preseason ends. And then right away, the season starts up in October 18th. So let me know in the comment sections what y'all think. This is huge, man. The season's pretty much around the corner. Obviously, executives are still throwing stuff around that who the Miami Heat should trade for to upgrade the four. Let me know what y'all think once again. I love you guys so much, and I'm out. Peace.